Hey everybody, my name is Antronik and for this video I'm going to be explaining to you how to do a proper pull-up and then also be explaining how to do a pull-up if you can't do a pull-up. So first let's get into the proper mechanics of a pull-up. There are a couple phases to it. The first one is what I call a scapular pull. So in the beginning if you just hang and allow your shoulders to ride up to cover your ears this is a dead hang basically and then you want to be, be able to pull the shoulders down away from the ears and then and then initiate the pull up so if you do that you will actually be able to not only go chin over but you'll bring your chest to the bar so so if you bring your shoulders down and then do the pull up you'll be able to go much higher than just barely chin over. The other thing is that a lot of people are not doing the full range. So in the big, so a lot of people will either do like this and then go down halfway or part way and then come back up. And they do that because it's a lot easier. It feels a lot easier. But if you go all the way down until your elbows are straight, and then maybe a dead hang and then active bring it down that's gonna strengthen you in that full range of motion because you build strength in the angles that you train them in so if you're neglecting that range a lot of people will only be going down part way and then they'll be really weak in the full the bottom range and not be able to pull out of it from the dead hang so don't neglect any range and then another thing is a lot of people will be doing pull-ups at home, maybe on a doorway pull-up bar, and they don't have room for their legs. Um, and a lot of people cross their legs. Try not to cross them. Try to keep your uh, legs together and preferably your feet in front of you. That'll make it, that'll make it a little bit harder and it, because it requires your core to work a little more whenever it requires your core to work a little bit more whenever your feet are not crossed. So just doing things that are a little bit harder make you stronger. So I hope that helps. And now we're gonna discuss how to do a pull-up if you can't do one. 